everyone, I am Vicki Howell and this is YouTube Live on our The Knit Show YouTube channel. And I am here with my good friend and neighbor, the DIY expert. She <laughs> is the founder of Kayla Chic. She's a contributor for everybody. Uh, but right now, Joanne, MarthaStewart.com, A Beautiful Mess. Who am I forgetting? So many people, awesome. amazing stuff. If you don't follow her on Instagram, you absolutely should. At Kayla Ch Kalo Chic, right? Mm -hmm. This is Kara Witten. Hi, Chris. So nice to see you. So we I wanted to start doing the series now that I'm back from the crazy palooza of publicity mm -hmm. for, for the niche show. I wanted to start doing more live stuff and um where I can focus on my hair being flat. Um I wanted to do more live stuff and oh hello, we've got Ava from Norway. So so good to see you. And also I have such amazing people in my life, um, creative people. And I want to be able to feature them and also bring them to the, the Knit Show community. So Hivesters, today what we're going to be doing is learning how to make the most adorable drink stirs. So Kara has a tutorial that is up on her website, but she is going to show you here. And then maybe we're going to show you how to make a cocktail. And we're going to show you two options. One is if you buy the felt walls, and then I'm going to talk to you about if you want to make them. So, oh, hello, we've got we've got someone from Finland as well. So great to see you. And from Ireland. It's so, this is amazing. All right. Okay, so we are going to be making stirs. Yeah, and I don't even have one made to show you what it looks like finished, but so we'll just start. It's going to be a little felt ball ornament okay. drink stir. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer. Okay. So we have our three supplies. We have an ornament cap that I just pulled off of a cheap plastic ornament, um, a felt ball. Can you buy them separately? I don't know if you can buy them separately. So you just but go get like in the dollar in section In the dollar section of Target or the cheap ones that are just the tiny little mini ornaments. They have these little caps on them so that they end up being five cents each or something like that, you know, anyway. Okay. Let's pull that off. A one inch felt ball and a acrylic drink stirrer. It can be any color you want. I just went with the clear because I like the clear. So you just begin you just need a hot glue gun and that's all you really need so you're going to simply put the hot glue on the ornament cap and kind of fill that in with hot glue and then press it into your felt ball and let it cool so, so cute. that's it and then you're going to hot glue it onto the stick and it actually holds really well surprisingly you wouldn't think hot glue could stick that well, but it really does. So just put a little dab of glue at the bottom of the felt ball, stick the acrylic stir into the glue, and once it's cooled, you have your drink stir. So this would be really cute for any holiday party regardless, but extra super cute if you were having a craft-related holiday party. Um, our friends often have mm -hmm. get-togethers, that's so cute, get-togethers where we make holiday crafts or, um, even as a party favor, if you were having a cocktail party, a holiday cocktail party, yeah. you could have this all set up. And honestly, you don't even have to put the ornament cap on them if you just want a felt ball stir. Yeah, and you it's... can do that for any time of the year. So it doesn't have to be limited to holidays. That's right? true. But this is so adorable. So what I thought is, so Cara, you buy your felt balls usually, yes, right? Yes, I do. And I haven't ever learned how to make my own, so I'm excited to see how Okay, so we're going to talk about, so you can do either. You can either go on just online and search felt balls and you can buy them in packs. Hello, Nicola from the UK. I just saw some somebody else from abroad. Hello, hello. Again, if you're just joining us, we have Kalo Sheik's Cara Witten with us today. She's a DIY expert who writes for a gazillion publications, and she is here in Austin, Texas with me. Okay, so we're making these adorable, you want to hold it a little mm -hmm. closer so that I can see, little stirs that are Christmas ball um, ornament stirs. Great for a holiday party or really any time of the year party to kind of add a little fiber goodness to your cocktail. So Cara just showed us how to make the stirs with pre-made felt balls and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about if you want to make your own. Some of you that have been following me for a while may remember several years ago I was a guest on Hallmark Home and Family channel and I showed how to make them with yarn. Um, but I'm gonna just refresh today. So there's a couple supplies that you can get. You can either go to a craft store and buy these in packs. It's roving or a yarn store, or you can get them online. And if you do that, you would just take the roving and you would just sort of start rolling it into a ball. 
and then you would do the process I'm about to show. But what I think is super easy too is that you can just go and get yarn. It's really important that it's 100% wool. It will not work if there's acrylic in it. Felting is the process of the fibers melding together, shrinking mm -hmm. together. So you've probably had it happen in the dryer with a sweater yeah. on accident right. before or the washer. That's because of that it was 100% wool and the agitation actually and the soap actually causes the melding of the fibers. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is cut a bunch of this wool yarn. And I just got this at, um, I think I got it at Joann's, at just a craft store. This is just Peyton's wool roving, I think. Again, just make sure it's 100% animal fiber. And I just rolled it in a ball, just kind of wound it. Now, for felting, the looser that you knit or crochet or wind, the better it will felt. It has okay. more room to contract. So then what you want to do is you want to get just a bowl of hot water, as hot as your hands can stand it, and then with some soap in it. Because this is not gonna be a wearable, you don't have to get any special you know, yarn soap. You can use dish soap, you can use shampoo, you can use hand soap even. Mm -hmm. And you're just going to put it in the, in the bowl, and you would take two hands, morally, and you wanna just agitate it. Now, also what you wanna do is roll it so that it stays in the form of a ball. And you're just gonna continue doing this. This is great with kids too, you just wanna watch the temperature of, of the water. It'll take a little bit longer if you don't have really hot water, but you're just gonna keep going. And eventually what will happen is it will start to felt. And you can see when you pull out, it looks like a little, like yeah. and see it's nice and firm. Yeah, that's so awesome. I'm gonna try making my own now. <laughs> yeah, and so and it's really fun. Uh, my daughter Clover, when she was little, she she had a lot of fun with this. And they're not gonna be perfect like the ones that you bought. Like you'll notice that sometimes you can see, you know, little crackles in them or whatever. But they're really fun, and they're not. They're also probably not going to be as uniform in size unless you're super awesome, <laughs> you know. Um, so you just kind of go with it. But it's fun to make them in all different colors. Really easy. You can make these into a garland. You can use them. Um, I just sewed thread through them and or some twine, and I have them hanging just as ornaments. Oh yeah. Your stirs or whatever. Really easy, fun, quick craft. Again, this is something else that you could set up for a holiday party. Right, and I actually have a tutorial coming uh, next week for another way to use the felt balls to make a little holly garland with them. Oh, so, I can't wait. So make sure to check in. Where is that going to be? Is that on my blog. So akylashiclife.com. Okay, and I will put that in the comment section after this video is over. So I feel like we have a cocktail stirrer. What goes well with a stirrer? <laughs> Cocktails. Cocktails. All right. So why don't you tell Let's us about see. the one that you um, okay, so recently posted on Instagram. So the cocktail that I recently posted was called a, I named it the Blackberry Sparkle Teeny because it's sparkling and delicious. I'll be your table. So, okay. So <laughs> let's see if I can actually open this with my hand. Here we go. So we have a blackberry um, so flavored juice, like sparkling juice, blackberry flavored. And of course, I'm going to use my. This is one of my cocktail shakers. Oh, show shakers, it closer. So, see, it's she has these with new confetti. Isn't that so cute? Oh, and speaking of confetti, there. She also has these pillows out. Aren't they amazing? Okay, go ahead. Okay, so you're going to take the cocktail shaker. You want to fill it with a little bit of ice. You can even stick in some fresh blackberries if you want. I don't have any on hand, so we're just going to go How with the ice. How dare you? I know, I'm sorry. Um, it still tastes good. It'll still we taste just good. dropped our kids off at school, so <laughs> you know, it's for like those of you in, in Europe, it's already <laughs> it's appropriate cocktail time, but here, it's not. we just dropped our kids. I mean. It's so we're going to add a little bit of a lemon-flavored vodka. I'm just freehanding this, but you can measure them out whenever, you know. What's your, whatever you, you want. So it's, what, just whatever you want, or do you have like one I mean, one it's part? just like, it's, it's pretty much one part to one part, but um, I do have the recipe on my Instagram at okay. Kyla Chic if you okay. want to get the actual measurements of what it should be. And then you're going to add the blackberry sparkling juice. And I'm going to scoop back. Since it's sparkling, I don't really want to shake it up in here, so I'm just going to use a stir to stir it. Oh, that's interesting. Sparkling yeah. shaking bad. Right. That right. I mean, sense. I think it would just, just like kind of soda. explode everywhere. <laughs> right. And so then you can, once you've Swirl it up, then you're just going to strain it into your glass. You have a delicious cocktail. And you can even add a few fresh raspberries, fresh blackberries to it, and of course, adorn it with your 
Pour yours. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I need to mix up a little bit. More and while she's time. mixing up, um, I also just wanna tell you about a couple other things coming on this channel next week, next Thursday. We will have Pom Pom Magazine's uh, Megan Fernandez. She's gonna be walking us through the new Pom Pom Winter episode, uh, or issue, rather. I will be actually back next week live on the Joanne Facebook page, but then you know we have the Joanne playlist here showing how to make felted hot pads that are pretty adorable for a host gift. You can also find a bunch more holiday projects watching our Handmade Holiday episode. It's number 110 as well as the playlist, we're constantly uploading things. And please make sure that you follow us on Instagram, at The Knit Show, and I'm at Vicki Howell. All right, let's try this. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, that's, that's delightful. I know. The blackberry and the lemon really do really well together, so. I think I've just found my new, like, <laughs> holiday drink. Well, thank you so much for being here, everyone. Um, it has been lovely to spend a little time with you from all around the world. Happy holidays, regardless of which one you celebrate. We love having you here. And don't forget, oh, the Netherlands, perfect, perfect time, time for cocktail time. Nice. Awesome. Hey, Holland. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Bye.